What's up superstars? On today's video, we're going to be doing a demonstration where we're going to be applying a UV DTF decal to this napkin holder. So I was walking by Target the other day looking for products that we can apply UV DTF to and possibly up, or up the value of the item. And this was one of the items that I saw that looked pretty cool. It is pretty durable, very heavy duty. It's probably like three or four pounds, so it's a napkin holder. It's definitely going to be heavy. And it has a marble finish. With this marble finish, it's supposed to look very luxurious and very nice. If you guys were to personalize this, put a name, um, let's say you were going to decorate this for somebody uh, and you were just to put a sticker on here, it's going to look pretty tacky. It's not going to look very nice because it covers up the veining with the marble. So what we're going to be doing here is we went ahead and took a graphic here. We created a template out of this as a watercolor design, so it's full color here. We made it transparent so that you're going to be able to see the veining behind the marble napkin holder. And let's just go ahead and see how this is going to look after we apply this. So let's go ahead and get it set up. I'm also going to show you a bonus tip if I was to mass produce these, what I would do. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull my table, get that set up. What I'm going to be using for this job is going to be uh, this Apraxiso. This is a laser leveler. You have probably have seen this in our video. We can put this on a tripod wherever we want to. Uh, we just got it off of Amazon, so I'll have a link below. But this is what we do. I'm using a regular heat press pad, and I'm just going to go ahead and set up the design. So let's say I want this to be centered, and I want this lowered, so I want this exact point every single time. And let's say I want it centered. And let's say, for example, that is centered right there. And if I want this here every single time, I'll just probably put a marking right here so that I can just keep bringing them back and forth. Uh, but for this particular job, I'm just going to do a quick alignment um, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn this off so I can actually start using the squeegee from the top. I have already cleaned the surface. Make sure you guys are using uh, any non-alcohol solution. Uh, you don't want to use alcohol because it doesn't stick as great. So this is our transfer again. You can customize it with the name on the family. We're just finding products that we can up value with and this would be a great gift idea if you were to even buy it from Target and resell it. So again, I bought this from Target. It was $9.99, so that wasn't too bad at all. You can probably put some flat rate shipping on that and still make a good amount of money from it. So this is the design. I'm just going to get a squeegee before I release it completely. I'm just going to go ahead and squeegee the design. Okay, and then let's go ahead and grab this and let's go ahead and peel back. All right, everything came off. This is how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and position it. I'm going to actually bring my fingers closer together. And then, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this down. Now that I have it there, let's go ahead and get the squeegee. And I'm going to go ahead and squeegee the print down. Now I want to do this a few times. I want to make sure that everything is nice and flat. There are areas of concern like the little, the little family sign right here or even these little tiny, tiny bronze lines. Those are very delicate, but that's really what makes this nice and elegant is those delicate lines. And in order to make sure that you get it across, just you know, do your due diligence and squeegee. Try to get all the air pockets out. Okay, so let's go ahead and attempt. I'm going to start from the corner here. Again, you want to be very, very delicate, very gentle. I really don't know how easy it is for me to get this off because they are very fine in detail. So the top released normally, that's, that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and peel this back. That's a good sign. And I just want to make sure that second layer is also going to come out. Don't rush the peel, guys. This is an expensive product. Make sure you're delicate with it. And you see how I'm pulling down? It helps me release, so I'm not pulling against the transfer or the image. Wow, guys, look at that. It's slightly embossed. It feels really, really great. You can see the veining from the marble. It's left behind. This is a very beautiful product. Let me know what you guys would pay for something like this. I would pay a good amount of money to have my name personalized on this, so let me know what you guys think.